go. Very interesting. Filming? Yep. Oh, yeah. sweet. You get a property under its true value, you're going to make money. Don't matter what's going on with the market, okay? In this general area of Toledo, this little area here, right, you can go comp this out and stuff, dude. You're going to be seeing stuff like this in the 180 range, okay? So you definitely got a lot of leeway here. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. I know you're always looking for that undervalued real estate, right? Today we got one of those joints in Toledo, okay? 1327 West Sylvania Ave. Now, if you want to scale up a portfolio, get a little bit of economy of scale, and have a bunch of units in a very close proximity to one another, I want you all to make sure you subscribe to Holton Wise TV because we got this particular two-unit building, and then right there on the other side of it, you got another one, and guess what? Holton Wise TV is here offering that to you as well. So subscribe so you can get the opportunity to bid on that property, get the information on that property as well, right? But for the rest of today's show, we're going to talk about 1327 right and how it's a good opportunity for investors who are looking to do some value add get some undervalued stuff right like dude i get it it's 2024 man we got freaking let's go brandon in the office and interest rates are pretty damn high like investing in real estate is going to take a little bit more skill these days but there's one thing that ain't ever going to change y'all buy low sell high you get a property under its true value you're going to make money don't matter what's going on with the market okay so this particular property priced at 129.9 in this general area of Toledo, this little area here, right, you can go comp this out and stuff, dude. You're going to be seeing stuff like this in the 180 range, okay? So you definitely got a lot of leeway here. Now, it's not a perfect property, okay? It's got some issues, right? You're going to need to do a little bit of renovation, some cosmetic stuff, a little bit of mechanical action, okay? Like, you go in. Definitely going to want to do a cosmetic spruce up, okay, for sure. That is absolutely needed, necessary. Uh, hot water tank, we got one pretty new one, but you're going to need another one, right? The furnaces, you're probably going to need to replace both of those, right? Probably want to do a little bit of electrical, okay? But once you get this thing up to snuff, put together, ready to rock and roll, y'all, this bad boy probably going to generate about 1800 bucks a month if you go the traditional residential route you see this thing also has some options okay used to be a commercial building then they determined that it would make more money as a residential building so they converted it to like a duplex right but you're still in the commercially zoned area so technically you got some options here right you could rock commercial if need be i think the better move here is to stick with the residential do a cosmetic uh renovation and things of that nature now as far as doing that renovation, getting that renovation done, handling the property management, putting motherfuckers in the units, okay? You know who you need to talk to for that shit? You probably noticed I have another company's name on the chart every time it pops up, right? That company is Oz Realty, all right? In short... Them's the motherfuckers I work with when I do a deal out in Cleveland, right? Here at Holton Wise, we're headquartered in Cleveland, okay? For those of you uh, that are coming to us from out of state, right? Like, I know a lot of motherfuckers in California. Y'all think, like, oh, it's Ohio. And y'all think, like, Cleveland, Toledo, Cincinnati, Columbus. Y'all think they're, like, within eight minutes walking distance of one another, right? Y'all think Ohio, it's all the same. I get it. Uh, but it's not. It's actually a little bit bigger than that, okay? I, I do it, too, dude, honestly. Like, somebody told me one time that, like, Sacramento is, is like, eight hours away from uh, Los Angeles. I was like, holy shit, I thought that was, like, an hour and a half drive, maybe two hours of traffic. Nah, it's, like, eight hours, which is crazy because that's, like, the time it takes to get from Cleveland to, like, friggin' outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. But anyway, uh, Toledo, kind of far. Well, not, like, super far, but it's about, like, a two-hour drive, right? Cleveland to Cincinnati, it's about a four-hour drive, okay? So I tell that to tell you that Holton Wise, we do the in-house property management in and around the Cleveland area, uh, but 
when you guys are purchasing homes from us uh, in other markets in the state of Ohio, what we do is we go and partner with local motherfuckers, okay? And the local motherfuckers that I partner with in Toledo on anything, right? My go-to guys is going to be Oz Realty, okay? Uh, they're a subsidiary, uh, subsidy, subsidiary area, area of Ohio cash flow, right? So uh, first of all, just letting you know, you want to buy this property, uh, you go ahead and submit your offer through me, my sales team, right? We'll take care of you, sales at holtonweiss.com. And then because it's like a two-hour drive, anything uh, requiring the day-to-day -day, uh, or the construction maintenance, I suggest you talk to Oz Realty. But if for some reason this particular deal don't tickle your fancy and you're trying to look at some other inventory uh, in Toledo that you don't see here on Holton Weiss TV, you could talk to Oz, and uh, they'll probably hook you up with some stuff they have, some turnkey junk they got. Uh, I don't mean junk like it's bad. I, I could have said turnkey jazz. They'll hit you up with some turnkey jazz, motherfuckers, with some other shit they got through Ohio Cash Flow. Uh, or they'll talk to you about managing this particular property, helping you get it uh, rent ready, ready to rock and roll, right? Because uh, you're going to obviously need to do repairs to get that $1,800. Um, so moral of the story. You could utilize whoever you want after you buy it. I mean, as long as we get your cheddar, it's up to you what you want to do. But if you're asking me, uh, I like working with folks who I know are actually going to do the job. I know a lot of you like to hire them Craigslist cowboys out there, them unlicensed property managers that may or may not do the job, right? It's kind of like roulette, dude. Maybe it lands on red, maybe it fucking don't, right? That shit usually works out real good till it fucking doesn't, right? You hook up with my dude Angelo and his company, Oz. They take care of you every single time, right? They, they, they're, they're by the book, right? But you don't have to. You can, though. That's my recommendation to you. That's who I utilize, okay? But it's totally up to you guys. So that there, that's the property, right? Like I said, if you want to make an offer, you can send that to sales at holtonweiss.com. I'm assuming before you make that offer, you might want to do a little more due diligence. So if you want to come to Ohio, come to Toledo, or if you're local to Toledo, Toledo and you want to tour the property, just let me know. Let our team know, sales at holdenweiss.com. You hit us up before 5 o'clock, we will get you into that property. Same business day. If you're out of state and you can't fly in, but you have like a trusted inspector or somebody like that, and you want me to get them access to the property, I could totally do that too. And then after that, I want those offers, sales at holdenweiss.com. All right. Uh, if you want to finance it, that's totally fine. If you want to finance it, but you don't have financing in place, <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't have financing in place, I could set you up with some. Just let us know you're highly interested, but you need some financing, right? We got investor financing for investors all over the world, right? Out-of-state investor financing, that's no problem. You're coming to us from New Jersey, New York, California. Ain't no thing, man. We got you covered, okay? But something that we got here that a lot of people don't have is we got those out-of-country mofos covered, right? So if you're a foreign national, right, we got a lot of Canadians, right? Toledo ain't that far from Scandinavia, right? It's shit. You're probably talking similar distance from Canada to Toledo, from Toledo to my house in Cleveland, okay? So we got foreign nationals covered. We work with people as far away as, like, Seoul. Seoul, Seoul South Korea, something like that, right? Seal. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I know it's in South Korea, which is the good Korea, right? 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 Is South Korea the good one? It's not that fucked yeah. up one with the with the missiles and shit. No, yeah. North Korea's South the South's the good one? South yeah, North no, we're in the good one. I don't think, like... I don't think America's allowed to do business with the other one. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I, I know nobody from the big one has ever, the bad one has ever contacted us, but I, I would assume that's some type of like, you know, espionage or some shit if you're trying to work with the North Koreans or something. Uh, but anywho, moral of the story is wherever you live, unless it's, it's the bad Korea, uh, we're probably going to be able to hook you up with some financing, okay? The Department of Homeland Security is probably going to have an issue if uh, we hook you up with financing in, your, in the uh, bad the bad one. Holton Wise does not support terrorism or nuclear war. We support cash flow, motherfuckers. Let's go. Uh, this one's 1325. Whatever. Sylvester. Yeah,
Coleman? Yep. Oh, yeah. sweet. Very different than the other one. Um, so you got your living room, dining room, bedroom, all right here. Big studio. Much more work done here than the other one. Yeah. Is this a one bed? I'm not sure. Because this should be the bathroom with no uh, shower or anything. Is this like an old mail building? Yeah, that's fucking weird. What the hell? Yeah, kitchen. With a toilet or with a shower? Yep. Okay. It's cool. This is probably a single at one point too. Yeah. Because you can smell the stairs. You probably wall it off. Whatever the fuck that used to be. Yeah, I'm guessing this at one point was like an office or something. One of those insurance buildings. I mean, it's in a main road, so. Yep. Kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah, there's another bathroom. Yeah, but this one's got moldy piss. You'll have that, dude. Moldy piss sells. Cool ass alley. Just a deadbolt on the back door? That's yeah, cool. No knobs. No knobs, those are for losers. You need a knob? Uh, Yo, what the fuck? The, uh... I'm gonna, you want me to pop up there and get that one open? Electrical's a little different here, dude. <laughs> yeah, if you want to. Whoa, what's that? Yeah, I figured. Here we go. We got some new, some old. A timer. So this must have been commercial at some point. You got your furnace. I don't think she'll run. You got one hot water tank. Here's the installed one. Newer. I bet that's what the box next door was for. And then another furnace. This one doesn't look like it'll light either. Got a lot of shit in it. Upstairs, creeping around. Okay. Kitchen. Oh, that is nice. <clears throat> we got. Wow, that's a big ass bedroom. Damn. Another sizable bedroom.
Yeah, dude, this looks pretty good. These two units? Yeah, this one's definitely better than the other one. Oh, dang. You got your bathroom. Oh, oh. shit, I found the attic space. Yeah, it's just a crawl space. Oh. Little fishies. That's over there? No, uh, I can go out that window. You go out the window and leave it out here. Steps over there? Yep. Oh. I thought that was a door. Yeah, see this probably just out the window. So I'm gonna that's a good spot for it. Right yeah, just right above that window. Next one. Yeah. It's about the only spot we're getting the side here. The rest is fucking stone. Right? Yeah. Another nice stairwell. 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 Farewell. Farewell. Oh. Okay, so that's. That makes sense. That's fine. Just run right up. Yep. Anyways. Oh yeah, definitely some kind of office, because look, there's the, the sign holder. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.